me, the chairman, Mr. Vivek Chand Segal, uh, who is joining us live on the show. If you were to track the stock price performance of the stock, incidentally, it's down nearly 47% year to date. Uh, we're going to be talking about the future outlook and as investors uh, look at Motown again, how the situation is panning out. Mr. Segal, thank you so much for joining us live right here on ET Now. Last time down, when you gave a media interview, you said the best way to describe Mother Sumi's performance for the year is work in progress. Is that how you're still going to describe it? WIP. We're now talking when for the first time commodity prices are looking like they're going to head down. Look at what's happening with copper, look what's happening with nickel, look what's happening with aluminum. Things should be looking up now. Yes, I think on the raw material front, um, things are pulling down. So that's always, always very well for the automotive industry. Uh, I think uh, uh, generally there is uh, uh, seemingly good news around the corners everywhere. Uh, the demand is very robust. Uh, people are putting uh, um, their faith back in uh, uh, in the governments all around the world, oil prices, everything also seems to be coming down. Uh, I think the demand for the cars, automotives, uh, trucks, two wheelers for for us is globally doing better and better. Demand was never really an issue. I think it was more supply related uh, uh, problems that they were there, uh, but. Uh, even markets like China and all that, despite the lockdowns and all that, uh, still you can see the numbers are getting better and better. So yeah, it's it's uh, uh, there, but it poses a big challenge for us uh, in the auto acts. We have to uh, do up the paperwork and everything to make sure that we get uh, um, paid for all the disturbances that were there. So hence, work in progress. And I think uh, I, I maintain that. I think this quarter as well uh, is really a work in progress kind of a thing. Just to uh, put the entire uh, price increases and things like that in perspective uh, will take time. But uh, good news is that the car makers are listening and understanding the problems that we have. Okay, so if you can talk a little bit more about that, you know, you saying demand has never been an issue. Last time round, what you have disclosed is an order book of more than sixteen billion dollars. Input costs are coming down. But Mr. Segal, uh, can you talk to us a little bit about what the currency, what we're seeing in the currency markets, the impact that's going to have on Mother Sumi? Such a large presence in Europe, right? Look what's happening there. One is to one, like parity with the dollar. So, you know, one of the good news about Mother Sun is that we uh, are in that market, in that currency. So we are buying and selling in that particular currency. So other than the translation side of it, there is not much any effect, if any. And uh, also, because we are in uh, 41 countries globally, uh, it plays out to, to our advantage also, because we can use this particular thing we have always used this particular thing very effectively. And we have our purchasing guys who are absolutely uh, uh, focused on just this particular phenomenon and take advantage time and again. So we're not very the same about that. But the other thing I wanted to tell you is that Mothers and Sumi now is actually two companies. So when you talk about 47% uh, down, it's actually two companies. You put them together, you'll probably get back to the normal of this thing over there. So, Marus and Sumi is now Samuel, which is Subburden Marus and International, and it's MS World, which is the wiring hunts for India, has separated up. So that particular process has been achieved. Mr. Sagal, good morning. You know, every morning. time I connect with you, I need to ask you which part of the world you are in. I'm in London, so it's really early in the morning. <laughs> So I actually know that uh, you're in London, but I wanted to thank you because you've really gotten up uh, very early to accommodate this interview request. It's 9.40 in India. Must be, what, 6 in the morning there? It's about 5-something, oh. 5, 10, 5, 15. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much for getting up so early to join us. Uh, there is a problem in Europe. 
So there is a macro problem, there is a demand problem, there is a currency challenge. You've got operations there. And when an economy goes through a flux like never before, on the demand side, production side, currency side, what changes for a manufacturing company like yours? Nikhil, we have over the years become very uh, sensitive to these particular uh, things. Uh, we don't think there is a demand problem in, in, uh, in Europe. I think what is there is that what you want is not available. As uh, uh, you know, you go to a dealership, you have to wait for months to buy a car, the car that you want. I mean, off the shelf, there is some uh, kind of an alternative available because there are so many car makers and all that, which is great for the customer. But I think uh, uh, the demand is not a problem. But yeah, the global challenges which are there in Europe because of a war situation, also because of the currency and all these particular things, they're all playing out at the same time. Uh, so I think we are very sensitive to it. We've uh, tackled this many, many times before. So it's not something new that's happening. But we know how to take advantage of this particular thing also. Basic challenges which every country in Europe is facing for your manufacturing plants like availability, shortage of labor, challenge in terms of energy prices, lack of electricity availability, high gas prices. Are you getting impacted because of all this? Yes, uh, we are uh, uh, trying to mitigate these particular challenges. And as I said, the car makers are very, very uh, uh, focused on this because in such an environment, when the demand is good, for you to lose a car is, is always a problem. So they're very sensitive to that. And yes, uh, we're negotiating. But yeah, we have to do the entire negotiation and all that. It takes time. And it also, we have to uh, prove what the price was when we were buying and selling, etc. When you, so say, but... when you say, sir, demand is not a problem, can you elaborate more on that? So, look, I'm uh, uh, talking about if I want to buy a particular car or things like that, the dealership, they actually don't have it because the volume production, because of various reasons, has either moved up the uh, supply chain. I mean, you've seen... Uh, better models doing better and better. And the uh, uh, lower segment, the numbers are really taking a hit. So that's probably uh, because, you know, in the semiconductor uh, issues and all that, they have tried to uh, make cars which are giving them more money for the uh, same product. So I think that's uh, one particular thing which uh, gives you the feeling that, yes, the, the demand is very robust. Uh, the numbers of uh, automakers also show you the same. <laughs> Mr. Sagal, the shift of manufacturing is moving away from China. I'm not saying anything new, but I think every day we are realizing it that the trend which you had called, let's say, post-COVID is now getting more and more pronounced. Mothers and Sumi champions itself in acquiring assets close to their vendor's requirement, right? That's been your model. So are your buyers now telling you, please do it quickly because we need to shift out of China? Are you gaining disproportionately because of that? Because there ain't too many players like yours in the world now. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you. Um, you know, we have to be cautious of uh, so many moving parts and whenever we take over an acquisition, uh, a company over. There's a lot of responsibility in that. Uh, we've done 29 acquisitions up till now, and not even one has gone bad in any way or something. So that puts that much more responsibility on you. Plus, also, you know, we are taking over people, we're taking over plants in different countries and all that. So the responsibility factor is much higher. So while we are, uh, uh, we are constantly product by the customer to you know go ahead do the do the acquisition we are still careful we make try to make sure that we understand the whole particular thing very well and then take a a, a measured call and then take the asset over 
So yeah, it delays it a bit, but uh, you're right. There is tremendous amount of requests for us to take over companies. Good morning, Mr. Segal. Very early morning for you. Um, let's talk about the order book of the company because last time you had said it was close to, if I'm not mistaken, $16 billion. Can you update us on the potential for the order book? Oh, well, um, uh, look, uh, we normally do that once every six months. But um, all I can tell you is that the order book is uh, strong and uh, good. Uh, Every car, extra car that the car maker can make, believe me, is a welcome thing from their side. So uh, our job is to just be on our uh, feet and make sure that whatever the change in demand that's happening because of the circumstances are taken care of very well. So uh, really, uh, it's, it's, it's a great place to be. Mr. Saigal, the bottom line is there are just far too many moving parts. You know, there was a time we would look at truck sales, interest rates, commodity prices, and then understand your business. There is currency on one side. There is EV on the other side. If that was not enough, there is a semiconductor sh shortage. If that was not enough, there is a shift out of manufacturing. And just when we thought four parts were difficult to analyze, now we have to analyze gas prices also for you. Just too many moving parts. And when you have so many moving parts, the business will change, the environment will change. I admire Motherson's ability to withstand shocks. 2008, you withstood a shock. 2013, you withstood a shock. But that time, the shocks were more demand and currency dominated. This time, there is a technological threat. There is a manufacturing cycle change. Just too many things happening, sir. Why are you sounding so confident to me? Because I think, Nikhil, what is important is that, you know, all these particular things that you are uh, uh, elucidating and telling us that are changing and all that are actually not happening at that pace at what uh, uh, it can make you uncomfortable. I think the pace is very measured. There is a, a, a clarity. The other thing is that Motherson has been able to uh, produce in countries where uh, outside effects of currencies and things like that doesn't really affect you so much. So I think uh, uh, one gets that much more uh, used to the kind of challenges that are coming. And then uh, uh, you adapt to it very well. And uh, that's basically what Monson is doing. So we have over, over 290 odd facilities all over the world. Uh, all of them are very focused on their customer. So uh, whatever is the need of the customer, whatever the changes of the customer that is happening, we our plants are very focused towards that. So it actually makes it a complicated problem when you look at it on a globe kind of a thing. But when you take it down to the unit level, it actually becomes that much more simpler and easier. Final question. You had uh, spoken about potential from the non-automotive business over the next five years. How much are you eyeing and which are going to be the countries and geographies that will contribute? You know, we are going to be having our midterm um, five-year plans uh, uh, investor conference and we will be actually uh, trying to show you what all we are doing. A lot of things are in the progress. All four uh, verticals of Mother Sun, which we're looking at the new businesses and all that are doing very well. Uh, uh, I think uh, um, if you are, it's too short time to pick up each vertical and try to explain to you, but I can assure you that they are much better than what we were expecting. We were thinking that, yeah, we would be able to do a particular uh, kind of number of uh, companies that could be taken over. But uh, there is so much more uh, that we can do in this. So it's very encouraging. So I think uh, just try to wait for maybe four months and you see what Brother Sun has done. Okay, we certainly be watching out for that. Uh, Mr. Vivek Chan Segal, thank you so much for waking up literally at the crack of dawn in London to be live with us. Good to have you on the show and for being so candid and the, you know, all the moving parts that are taking place in house, Madhusan Sumi is also reacting. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we're